All right, here we are, long awaited day, day one of logarithms. All right, we have to start with the definition of a logarithm. What is a logarithm? Okay. A logarithm is just a different way of writing an, uh, an exponential expression. All right, so first off, let's talk about how I read this. I read this as y equals the log base b of x. The log base b of x. I don't say the full word logarithm, you can just say log. Okay, but the log base b of x. x is inside this logarithm. Technically, we could have some parentheses around it. I don't need to do it because it should be pretty clear that x is in it. Sometimes people say this is the log of b to the x. Not log of b to the x. Log base b. Why is it called the base b? Because it's actually the base of the exponential expression that this uh, is equal to. Okay. So the log base b of x really is the same thing as saying b to the y equals x. These are equivalent. I have this double arrow because they work both ways. If b to the y equals x, then y equals the log base b of x. So if I ask this question again, what is the logarithm? A logarithm is an exponent, right? Notice y is the exponent. So the logarithm is y, so the logarithm is equal to the exponent. So here's what we need to do. We need to practice rewriting logarithms as exponentials. We need to practice rewriting exponentials as logarithms. Once we've done those two things, we're going to actually practice evaluating some logarithms. So here are some exponentials. Hey, let's rewrite them in logarithmic form. I have 5 to the 4th equals 625. That's a true statement. Okay, I'm going to rewrite it as a logarithm. Log. What's the base of the logarithm? The base of the logarithm is the base of the exponential. Log base 5. Log base 5 of what? Well, remember that the logarithm is the exponent. So the logarithm is going to be equal to the exponent. So when I know 5 to the 4th equals 625, I know the base of the logarithm is 5. I know the logarithm equals 4 because the logarithm is the exponent, so 625 goes in here. These are saying the same thing. 5 to the 4th is 625 is the same as the log base 5 is 625 equals 4. Now, 3 to the x equals 27. Log base 3, base of the exponential, of 27 equals x. The exponent goes on the other side. Now, could I write it this way instead? Absolutely. Same thing, right? The logarithm is equal to the exponent. One half to the negative fourth equals y. Log base is one half of y equals negative four. One half. I usually do this triangle thing when I'm writing the base. So one half to the negative fourth equals y. That's kind of how I, what's, what's going on in my mind as I'm rewriting this. Okay, so that's taking an exponential, rewriting it as a logarithm. Okay. Now let's take a logarithm and rewrite it as the exponential. Remember that triangle thing again? Here's the base. Log base 8 of 1 equals 0. 8 to the 0, that's the exponent, equals 1. Okay. 8 to the 0 equals 1. The log base 5 of 5 equals 1. The base is 5 down here. That's the base. The exponent is over here at 1. 5 to the first equals 5. Log base 2 of 2 to the fourth equals 4. This one's a little silly. Here's our base. Our base is 2. What's our exponent? Our exponent is over here. It's 4. 2 to the fourth equals what? Oh, 2 to the fourth. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. Good. All right, so if we can rewrite logarithms as exponentials, okay, we should then be able to use that concept to help us evaluate the logarithm. So notice there's no equal signs in any of these. That's because we want to figure out, when we say the word evaluate, we want to figure out what does the logarithm equal. The log base 2 of 8. What does the log base 2 of 8 equal? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to think about it as an exponential. My mind can wrap around exponentials exponentials. So I wrote the log base 2 of 8 equals what number? So I would ask myself 2 to the what number is 8? 
and hopefully we're, we're decent with these. We've done a lot of exponentials lately. 2 to the what number is 8? Well, the answer to that is 2 to the third equals 8. So I'm going to say the log base 2 of 8 equals 3. Okay? That's what the log base 2 of 8 equals. Now, sometimes people want to say this is your answer. No. What evaluate the log base 2 of 8. What does the log base 2 of 8 equal? It equals 3. Okay? This is what we use to figure out what it's equal to. All right, next one. The log base 8 of 8. Well, what does that equal? 8, rewrite it as an exponential. 8 to the what power is 8? And the answer to that is 8 to the first is 8. So the log base 8 of 8 equals 1. Let's keep going. Log base 1 half of 8. What question am I going to ask myself? 1 half to the what power is 8. Now this one's a little trickier. Okay, powers, well, 1 half squared is 1 fourth. 1 half cubed is 1 eighth. Do I want 1 eighth? No, I just want 8. Okay. If I have a fraction and I want to flip it, how can I use exponents to flip a fraction? Well, 1 half to the negative third, okay, that negative is going to flip this fraction. It's going to be 1 eighth to the negative first, okay, and that's going to be 8. If you need to flip a fraction, we use a negative exponent. Okay. So the log base 1 half of 8 equals negative 3. Log base 7 of 1. Question I ask, 7 to the what power is 1? Well, I know 7 to the 0 is 1, so this is equal to 0. Sound good? Okay, all right, ready for some trickier ones? Um, let's add some more here. Log base 25 of 5. 25 to the what power is 5. Well, maybe you notice this, but the square root of 25 is 5, isn't it? And roots, okay, radicals, can be written as exponents. A square root is the same as what power? 1 half. Okay, so 25 to the 1 half is 5. Okay. Let's do the same type of concept here. Let's say the log base 27 of 3. Well, 27 to the what power is 3? Well, I know the cube root of 27 is 3, because 3 cubed is 27. And the cube root is the same as the 1 third power. There we go. Now, I can make this trickier yet if I want, I could do something like the log base 8 of 4. Now this one's tough, right? So 8 to the what power is 4? Well, I know 8 to the, uh, let's see here, 8 to the 1 third is 2. I know 8 to the 1 half is the square root of 8, square root of 8 isn't 4, is it? That's a, temp that's a temptation right here. Okay. What are the people doing when they say 8 to the 1 half is 4? They're multiplying, right? So it's not that. But here's what I notice. I want 4, and 8 to the 1 third is 2. Well, isn't 2 squared 4? So can't I square this? So that gives me 8 to the 2 thirds equals 4. So this would be 2 thirds, okay? Hopefully you're very confident with your properties of exponents, using roots, things like that, and you can work through that. Okay. Last two things to cover quickly. Common log. Notice this says the log of x, and I didn't write a base there. If a base isn't written, that means it's base 10. Okay. Whenever a logarithm is base 10, we don't write it. It's just a shortcut way of writing it. Just like when we write the square root, we don't put a 2 there, do we? We just write a square root. But if it's a cube root, we write a 3. So similar concept. Okay. On our calculator, if you look on the left side here, you see a log button. Okay. That's log base 10. 
So if I wanted you to evaluate the log of 100, well, really, that's the log base 10 of 100. And we'd say 10 to the what power equals 100, and the answer to that is 10 to the second power is 100. So this would equal 2. The last one okay, is the natural log. Okay. Now, notice it's ln because in the Greek, when they ordered first done, done this, they you know how they switch words? You wouldn't say natural log. You'd say log natural like you do in Spanish. So it's ln. Okay. Usually I put cursive here, but I couldn't do that typing here. Okay. This means log base e of x. So when I write natural log of 10, I'm really saying log base e of 10, which means I need to say e to the what power is 10. Now off the top of my header, I know that e is about 2.718. Okay. If it was 2, well, 2 cubed is 8, 2 to the fourth is 16. If I round e up to 3, 3 squared is 9, 3 cubed is 27. So it's probably, if I'm looking at this, it's got to be bigger than 2, but probably smaller than 3 if I do a quick estimate. Here we're going to use our calculator okay, and just use that natural log button. The natural log of 10 is about 2.3. And that's all I'm going to have you do with that. If you have to take a natural log, you can just use your calculator to do that. All right, so there's day one of logarithms. Can you rewrite logarithms as exponentials? Rewrite exponentials as logarithms and evaluate them. All right, hopefully it's off to a good start. Thanks for watching.